Who's that? You gonna give the camera a smile? He does sleep in there, but we're just having morning cuddles together. My rash is going well, but I feel like on this camera it just like comes out. Smile. I'm actually almost six weeks postpartum. I'll be six weeks postpartum in four days. Yay! Which is so exciting because technically that's when they give you potential approval to go back to training and everything. And I have not trained in almost two months and I don't even feel like myself. Like I love looking after Fox, but I also just want to have one hour of the day that's just me time where I go to Pilates or I can go and box and not having that has just been really weird. Like, I'm not used to it, just being honest. Just because I know a lot of other girls who train and love the gym and have babies, they feel the same thing. So I just want to like relate and say like I feel the exact same. Today I'm going to show you guys what I'm doing for my body to get ready to get back into the gym. So you guys know when I was pregnant I was seeing my physio Charlotte at Flow Physio Co in Sutherland and she was assessing my pelvic floor and giving me exercises that were safe during pregnancy. Then once I had Fox, three weeks after I went to her and she gave me exercises to help bring my abs back together because when you have a baby obviously your abs separate which is totally normal. So I'll show you them today. Grumpy bum is back. Be free, my child. We're matching. Fox, we're matching. You're so cute. You made mummy's abs separate. You made my pelvic floor ruined. You don't like to sleep. But lucky, you're so cute. Do you look like twins? No, I think he looks more like me. Put him up against my face. smiling? Yeah. Who does, comment down below who does he look like more. Okay, this is not good because my rash is peak. He's like looking at the camera. <laughs> Wait, do his face. I'm really comfortable with him. This it's is a really it. nice position him in like the nook of my neck. I tried to do a push-up the other day in the lounge room. I literally can do one push-up. I used to be able to do 30. I haven't even tried to do a handstand yet. Like that's what I was most excited to do. Get it back into like my yoga flows. Yeah. And do I used to do the coolest handstands. If I can find a video, I'll put it up here. I used to do all that kind of stuff. And I've been too scared to go upside down without my doctor's approval yet. Because I'm like, what if my... Intestines just go. Whoa. Shall we um, get up out of bed and clean the house? Yeah, I need to wash my face. Say goodbye. Oh. <laughs> Fist pump. Mm. Okay, this has literally taken an hour to get the fam ready for a walk. Everyone knows Teagues. Everyone goes off me because they're like, you have no friends. I'm like, I just don't vlog my friends. People probably think we're lesbians. I get to hold the dog. Abby has this thing where she likes to go under the wheels though. So weird, literally like this time last year, we were going on an Esplanade walk together, talking about like one day we'll have babies and like we'll walk the pram. So weird. Now we just need to get you a baby. Oh no, thank you. <laughs> I want my friends and my sisters to give birth, not because I want to see their baby, but just so I can debrief with them about birth. Like, I feel like I can't connect to anyone yet because all my friends don't have kids. And I just want to talk about how messed up labor is. <laughs> and I was also talking to Teagues about how excited I am to get back into training because Tegan is like a yoga fanatic right now. We used to go to yoga together, I know, like twice a week. And now I literally can't even do a plank, so. But now you're so much better than me. I'm gonna be like the new. No, because you can do headstands and no, handstands. I can't even, and... I can't oh, yeah, no, probably not now. I can't I'll probably, yeah, I will. I'm the loser I will friend. Be <laughs> I'm that, you know how there's always one friend who's like a little bit better? Yeah. I wanna be that friend. <laughs> but you have baby, I don't have baby. <laughs> yeah, but you're the fit friend for now. Damn it! You'll be back. You'll okay, I'm back home now in our disgustingly messy study. Just came home from my walk with Tegan. And what I was saying before is, people always ask me like, why don't I vlog my friends or do I see my friends anymore? And I do, I just don't vlog them because when I see them, I just wanna be in their company and in their presence and not filming if that makes sense. And I just like to be in the moment with them and not have a camera in their face. And especially a lot of the time we're having like a DNM that I don't wanna blast on social media. And like girly time, you talk about girly things and my friends don't really want to be filmed when they're debriefing about their boyfriends. But we are trying to get back on the bandwagon with the Health Code podcast. We're actually in the middle of rebranding. So if you guys have never listened to our podcast, we pretty much 
just talk about anything health, fitness, relationships, lifestyle. But now that we're getting in a bit of a routine with Fox, we're yeah. trying to get back into... We want to get into weekly uploads and we're going to try and have an episode up every Sunday night. It's actually linked in the description box below. We have an Instagram as well that do the podcast. And then I really want to go back to the beach because the weather is so beautiful now. And I want to do my stretches and my routine, like my pelvic floor routine out and about. Because when I tell myself I'm going to work out at home and stretch at home, I never do. I like to work out at a gym or I like to stretch elsewhere. So if I get there, I will take you guys with me. And I also want to make some yummy muffins. I'm thinking like apple cinnamon or something. I am cooking a lot more lately and I'm trying to write down my recipes because I do want to come out with items. No, don't tell them. No, I already told them at the start of the year. One of my New Year's resolutions was to make a cookbook. But I'm just thinking of something a little bit more extravagant than that. So I'm just cooking every single day and perfecting my recipes. And anyway, this is probably really boring you guys just listening to my life update. Sezzy is currently feeding. Hey, story of my life. <laughs> Kurt was like, I'm going to go to the gym. I was like, do you want to train together? Not that I can train. I don't want to train together. No, we're not. But we're going to be <laughs> together. You work out and I do my stretches. Yeah, let's because do it. I was saying before, if I stay inside, I'm not going to do them. Give me a good one. Everyone's probably going to complain about yeah. this. Oh, you know what? We shouldn't pat them. You should not pat them to mom, burp them. Mum hate is real. Everything everything I do is proud Yeah, mom. you're the worst mum ever. Anyway. He's not happy. He is not a happy boy. <laughs> oh, yep, no, no, definitely not happy. We haven't actually left yet, but I just want to show you my predicament. Right now, because I'm breastfeeding, you can either see my nipples or my nipple pads literally through everything. Like, is this too obvious to go out with? I feel like if I'm, like, moving and doing my stretches, no one will notice, right? Well, at least it's a nice outlook. It's kind of like we're outside. <laughs> we tried to go to the park and didn't realize there was like that real life life. Basically, it's like there's a festival on where we we're gonna go and train. So we've come to the gym. You're a silhouette, but you know, they get the picture. Turn back to this way. The first time I've ever even stepped in a gym since like the two months. It's gonna be hard to focus on what I'm doing and a baby. So you're gonna pump some gangster beats while you do your Pilates right now? Okay, so like I said, I was supposed to do these stretches and rehab exercises and like pelvic floor engagement every single day. But I've been a little bit lazy and I've done it like three times. But I am going to try to do it every day until my next appointment because that's when Charlotte, my physio, will check my abs again and hopefully give me the go ahead to get back into the gym. One of the best things about this physio that I go to is they have like an app. So you know when like the physio tells you all the exercises you have to do and you go home and you completely forget what you're supposed to do, like how many breaths, how many reps. Oh, this is like totally unsponsored. I just really like my physio. But she puts down everything I have to do and if I click onto it, there's like a video to demonstrate it and then also she's written personalized notes of like how many times she wants me to do it and like what to focus on you'll see that the exercises are so simple it's more so like activations and rehabilitation stretches you guys will see what I mean in a second so the first one I'm gonna do looks really anticlimactic but it's probably the most important one basically it's just me engaging my pelvic floor so that one just there all right I should probably start now
followed my channel before I got pregnant, you'll know that that is not my norm. That was such a rude awakening for how unflexible I am. And I am actually currently filming a long-term video. It's all about stretching, so that should be up in a few months' time. Compared to what I used to be, I'm so unflexible. So I'm filming literally every single day for two months or however long I feel like it takes me until I get flexible again. And I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I'm doing to get my flexibility back. But I kind of wanna try a handstand. I really should wait for doctor's approval, but I'm just gonna give one a go. Do as I say, not as I do. Hashtag disclaimer, don't copy me. I'm a bit scared. I feel like I'm not gonna be able to do it. Alright, we'll start off with a little baby one. Can you feel the Alright, what are you cooking up? Um, paleo ramen. Getting my oriental on. Hi, don't mess with me. I'm the chef. Oh, come on, it's fun. Are you kind of enjoying it? Um, no, not really. Then let me do it. I no, would no, no, love no. making no, this. I want, I want to make this because then I can say I've made healthy ramen once before in my life. And I made it for my gal. <laughs> my sezzy gal. I'm literally so lazy. We have a whole room full of tripods and I'm balancing this camera on a pillow. I feel like this vlog was such an accurate representation of the last two weeks. I am trying so hard to like find some kind of routine with this new mum life and there just is none. I did end up making those apple paleo muffins and they were so good, but I'm gonna do that in a separate video because I feel like it doesn't really make sense in this vlog. This vlog was just kind of all over the place and that's just kind of how I'm feeling right now. But I'm genuinely so excited for my upcoming vlogs. You guys know I love a good project comeback. It's like seriously what I live for. And yeah, I just can't believe that's about to happen. Project comebacks are my favorite and that's why I don't feel like sad or deflated that my body is completely different and I have no strength and I feel really unflexible. Like that's really exciting to me. I just can't wait to see what I can do when I get back into the gym and just bring you guys along the journey with me and share all my tips and tricks and my struggles. I'm sure I'll have some struggles along the way and just be really honest about my postpartum journey. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Nothing really happened, but if you did like it, please give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel and make sure to subscribe because I upload new videos pretty much every week right now. I'm trying to get in the groove of editing. Editing with a newborn is so difficult. So I'll just be sitting here for the next hour and a half watching Kurt cut the chicken like a snail. I can help you. Too late. You're welcome. I'll be the sous chef. Ah, mate. Don't you want me as an assistant? No. Why? Because I wouldn't be able to do this one. <laughs> I'm hungry though. Nah, so good, man. Oh my gosh. She's rude. Okay, bye. <laughs>